Right. So we had an editing challenge uh, during the, the the conference, and first of all, thank you to everybody who participated. Uh, our goal was kind of like a gamif gamification to give incentive to get editors to try out new tools, projects, and uh, kind of like going into theme of this year's Crossroads. So 12 people signed up, and uh, seven of them completed at least seven tasks. So, woo! If you have not completed yet, or for those who are virtual, you still have until tonight to submit, and I will send you the virtual prize. But uh, there has to be a deadline for the in-person physical prize, unfortunately. So uh, for those uh, who completed at least seven, I will send the, the, this digital Barnes compass. Almost, almost slipped the tongue and become Barnstar again. So that's Wiki Voyage, a uh, little bit uh, Creative Commons stealing that and changing it into a Barn compass. Uh, first of all, uh, we have the honorable mentions who completed uh, at least seven tasks. Uh, Riffmaker, Iago Quincy, SDKB, SDKB, and Econ Terms. Woo! Woo! And then we actually have a three-way tie for the, for the first place who completed all the tasks. So. Luckily, I did put some tie breaking. I, I was not anticipating a freeway tie. I was just hoping for a two, so that took a little bit long time to figure it out. So, uh, how the tie breaking goes originally was like how many people, how many tasks in total com completed. But since three people all completed all thirteen, so uh, it goes down to the number of volume, uh, uh, the volume of contribution, number of bytes that you added in or changed. So in first place, it is, uh, I felt a funeral in my brain. <laughs> and I should actually say that apparently this is a new account that was only registered like at the beginning of the, of the, of, of, of this conference. So. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. So in second place, it is Clover Moss. Could I get some drum rolls for the first place? It is Santa Cruz. So please come up and have a very small token of thanks made by Chelsea at the back. She knit this on her way to, uh, during the layover to make this, so. Wow. I think the camera is there, if you would like. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Thank you everyone for participating and hopefully we will do something similar in next year. Thanks so much. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, and I'll hand the stage back to Dominic or whoever comes after. Um, thanks, everyone. I've been on stage a lot this session, um, this conference. It's been amazing. My brain is also going to have a funeral. Um, but this is probably the most important thing that I felt like I was a part of. Um, this morning's keynote sparked an idea, a ripple, if you will, that inspired WMF staffer Chris Corner to reflect on the role that his beloved father played in his life. And this contrasted with our keynote speaker's touching experience, which was a stark reminder that we don't all face an evil play, an even playing field in life. And this is especially affecting for youth. So to honor Chris's dad and make a small impact on this inequality, we this morning created the Butterfly Fund. 
It's a very new initiative to support young Wikipedians, especially those who have faced or are facing challenges that might be holding back their tremendous potential. This fund will recur each year. We will work with uh, Hacks Hackers, which is a 501c3, for, for fiduciary support. But right now it's just a GoFundMe under my name. That GoFundMe has, since 10 a.m. this morning, raised $4,000. And this year's recipient is Hannah Clover. I'm definitely gonna cry. Um, thank you, Hannah, for being an inspiration to all of us. We hope your journey continues in marvelous directions and ways. Everyone is more than welcome, although in no means required, to contribute. This is the link to the GoFundMe. And I'm just honored to be able to be a part of that. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna leave that up until everyone's had their chance. Um, I'm gonna just uh, give final housekeeping and acknowledgements. Um, one thing I wanna say, of course, um, one last call, please uh, post your photos from the whole conference and slides if you'd like to, um, to our Wikimedia Commons category. Yes, uh, and in particular, you know, we, uh, uh, with all of the partners we had on the culture crawl, I would love to see uh, lots of pictures of them. If you have, there were there are a lot of uh, sites that are not well documented, and also uh, they would love to see all how much you you know enjoyed their tours. So I just have uh, a couple of uh, statistics from our attendance and scholarships I wanted to share. Um, as of right now, we have 218 people who uh, checked in at our registration. Um, 132 people participated in our culture crawl on Thursday. Um, we had about 80 speakers across all sessions. I didn't get a chance to uh, count them all. <laughs> um, and, uh, and this, I think, is amazing, our scholarships. We, uh, Wikiconference North America this year, awarded 107 scholarships. Not all of them are accepted, but 87 people traveled under a scholarship to this conference. Um, with our uh, grant funds from the Wikimedia Foundation, that was an investment of $55,000 just on scholarships. <laughs> And I, and I just wanted to, to uh, point out, uh, we had uh, 10 travelers on scholarship from Mexico and 17 uh, from Canada here. So, and which is, of course, other than the Canadian um, wiki conferences, uh, I think it's safe to say that's the most ever from outside of the US and, and um, we can continue to do more in the future. So finally, I wanna end with some acknowledgements. Um, so our, our three main uh, local sponsors, uh, we need to thank the, the Indianapolis Foundation Library Fund, which helps um, with funding all the work that we do here at IU Indianapolis. Um, and we can clap for them, please. <laughs> uh, Indiana University, Indianapolis, uh, and the University Library in particular. And Jerry and Olivia, if you're, if you're here, if you want to stand up, you're welcome too. Uh, and the Indiana State Library, which hosted us on uh, Friday, in addition to all the work they do, if Justin and Jill are still here. 
Um, and then I also wanted to give the biggest thanks to the Wikimedia Foundation, uh, not just for the grant, but for uh, being here. We had a, a huge turnout of Wikimedia Foundation staff here, which I think is a great thing. And hopefully um, they all were uh, welcomed by the community members here and also were uh, you know, able to, to meet the community and both sides were able to you know, better humanize one another and have more shared understanding. I think we've had the most foundation uh, presence here that we've ever had, and I think it was uh, it was great. So thank you. And then the culture crawl. Um, I hope that you know many of you were able to participate on Thursday. Uh, we had over um, twenty different participating organizations, and uh, oh, I think about close to, th to 30 tours, because many of them offered multiple. Um, so big thank you to Indiana State Library, Indiana State House, the Indiana State Supreme Court Law Library, Indianapolis Public Library, the Indiana Historical Society, the Indiana State Museum, Indiana Landmarks, uh, Center for Ray Bradbury Studies, the Indiana War Memorial Museum, Heron Art Library, Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site, Eckes Labs, Lucas Oil Stadium, White River State Park Commission, Ujama Community Bookstore, Dream Palace Books and Coffee, Loudmouth Books, Tomorrow Books, Indie Reads, Kurt Vonnegut Museum and Library, the Fresco Italian Cafe on the Canal, um, and our uh, speakers in the evening, Jason Ackerman, Stephen Lane, Leah Johnson, and Ann Matsuchi. Uh, thank you to, to all of them. Uh, so this is the part where lots of people are going to get to stand up and be thanked. So thank you to anyone who volunteered. We had over 50 people that were volunteering, and in particular to uh, the room minders and all the people who, you know, really helped us uh, be able to manage all the Zoom streams and interpretation uh, and, uh, you know, complicated instructions. Um, thank you to all the volunteers. If, if you volunteered, can you please stand up? to anyone who spoke uh, and helped, you know, our actual programming of the session. Could you all please stand up? <laughs> and then to organizers, anyone who was part of the local team, served on any of our uh, committees, helped us with uh, translation to Span Spanish and French. Um, <laughs> Helpful safe space. Shout out to Jamie and Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, I want to give a big thanks to Indianapolis for the weather, <laughs> for for the walkability, um, for all of the local institutions that showed up, um, for the mayor's proclamation that I destroyed. Um, <laughs> Uh, this was a picture that Alan, if he's still here, posted on Telegram this morning. So, yes, thank you to Indianapolis. Um, and here's our group photo. I'm going to... Yeah. There, well, there, and, and there's a, a citation now for this year. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Rosie now for a review session. Thanks, Dominic. So for everyone who this is not your first Wiki Conference North America, you know that the time has come to do what we call the postmortem where we talk about what we enjoyed, what went well, and then some things maybe we should consider for the future, um, either new things to try or things that maybe didn't go so well, so opportunities. Um, we've got mics here, so let's go. Who's first? Hi. Um, 
Is this working? Yeah, okay, there we go. You have to just go real close to it. Yeah. Just, just talk into it. <laughs> okay. Um, oops. Just give me one second here. So I'm, I'm going to ask people's indulgence because I'm going to read something that's a little lengthy. Um, I was approached by somebody who wanted to say some stuff anonymously, and I agreed to uh, just present it for them as a proxy. So what, I, what I'm going to read here is, is it's not my own words. It's just somebody else's who, who did not uh, want to stand up on their own. So anyway, it is what it is. Um, generally, many feel that for an event like this to be successful, it should be made as easy as possible for the participants as they are there participating at the expense of being a little bit more difficult for the people planning. There's a feeling that there was a lot of, quote, let's throw things at the Wikipedia people, they'll take it, unquote, without putting that much thought into it. Regarding the scholarship applicants, some were given arrival flights a day earlier than they wanted, necessitating more time off from work, while others were given flights later than they wanted, causing them to miss things that they wanted to see. With better planning, these may have been swappable. For example, these may have been swappable, for example. Likewise, some people have to present Sunday morning after having checked out of the hotel, bringing all their luggage to the conference and then go to the airport, not even having time to go to the retrospective meeting that you may be delivering this info at. Um, I guess that's me. Um, also regarding scholarship application, the way the volunteer work was distributed was done with very little input from the recipients regarding disabilities, which talks they wanted to go to and other scheduling issues. While accommodations for these may have been possible after scheduling, having to do it after the fact without an adequate volunteer questionnaire creates a lot more work and a lot more doubt on the behalf of less socially secure Wikipedians. Also, the organizing of the volunteer work, it should be acknowledged that doing this and dealing with friendly space issues in general may be worthy of someone with expertise and not necessarily just, I'm not sure that I parsed that right, but, and not necessarily just someone who will do it as a volunteer basis. Having a well-organized event that everybody feels ran smoothly and that, that everybody feels ran smoothly and felt comfortable at is a big win in my opinion. There were also some situations where people who got scholarships were asked to volunteer to help out during times which they intended which they intended to intend participate in in talks. I don't know if it's a win to have them miss out on the whole reason they came here. Um, anyway, thank you for uh, letting me read that. And again, this is not my thoughts. I'm just reading it on behalf of somebody else who preferred not to uh, stand up in public. Thank you, appreciate it. And, and by the way, um, the words are being captured. We have someone who's a note taker so that we capture what's being said here and we can take it forward and do things better next year and the years ahead. So thank you. Next, who's next? And if we can have someone queue up here. I am fully aware that uh, conference scheduling is impossible to get right, but it seems like maybe some of the breaks could have been used to reduce the number of concurrent tracks so that there was less overlap of talks that people wanted to go to because there were a lot of things that were on similar topics that ended up at the same time so another idea would be um, maybe trying to theme rooms although that becomes difficult with the wide variety of talks that we're we get to enjoy here excellent idea and i know exactly what you're talking about who's uh, uh, your next selena and then queue up Hi, Selena Degelman. I'm the CPTO of the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, I want to say a couple things. First of all, I really loved the focus on books. The uh, indie bookstore tour was phenomenal. Um, also, just in general, I thought the culture crawl experience was exceptional, really fun. Interesting, had a lot of good stuff, and people that I knew were talking about it quite a bit. I also really appreciated uh, the 
kinds of talks that were brought here. I really found myself, no matter what time, you know, I was looking around to find a talk. I, I needed to attend a lot of talks kind of that were predetermined for me, but then as I was walking around, I was finding lots of really interesting stuff. Um, uh, yeah, so anyway, and I, I really actually liked the GLAM content too, that that was kind of a focus of this event. Uh, the previous um, uh, Wikicon North America, which was my first one in, in Toronto, had a little bit different focus. Um, I like that too, but you know, I, I just noticed that about the programming, so just want to express my appreciation for that. Thank you. Thanks, Selena. Hi, uh, SDKB. Um, I think overall this was a really well-run conference. Um, major kudos to the organizers. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> um, the, for the sake of constructive criticism, I'll focus on some more minor uh, things that I think could be improved for next year. Um, the first one is in terms of I've met so many fantastic people during this conference, and some of whom I've had a chance to like write down their username or take a photo of their name thing, they were okay with that. But there's also many folks who I think I'm going to miss. So for next year, I think it would be helpful if there was some kind of registry directory of conference attendees uh, that we would want it to be opt-in um, or to you know, allow yeah. people to opt out to respect privacy for folks who do not want to be listed. Um, but it would just be helpful to make it easier for us to connect with each other afterwards and um, remember who was here. Um, and the other thing uh, with these like the uh, ribbons uh, on the name uh, tags, uh, there are a bunch of those that I can think of that might have been useful um, for people who are administrators uh, or functionaries or have other roles um, just to make it easier to find folks who different people might be looking to talk to for different reasons. So thank we'll you. We'll make some more. Thank you. Oops. All right, just some, uh, some specific feedback about the culture crawl, which was amazingly done. Kudos to the organizers and the partners that were there, but the timing was a little bit awkward for people because some of the tours ran long or there are events that people wanted to go to that were basically ending and starting at the same time. So maybe building in some more break time just to allow people to get between venues and maybe having some shepherds or minders to help get people between venues on the first day, obviously in a new city, a bit hard to do, especially with the bus system over here. And, uh, but yeah, everything else about Thursday was amazing. So kudos to the organizers again. So I wanted to say something pretty similar to what Bruce said about the culture call and also for the conference itself. There were plenty, it was in my opinion, very well run, very informative and enlightening. The one thing I noticed is that both during culture call and during conference days, if there was one event that got delayed or something, there was basically no time to recover that delay mm -hmm. and no time for people to comfortably transition from one room to the next. Like, as a volunteer, I found myself in the slightly awkward position of either having to propagate a delay or tell a speaker that they have 10 minutes less in what would be a 30 minute presentation. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, you. that didn't happen. And then just one other thing to keep in mind for next year, based on a conversation I had with another attend with some other attendees. I heard that there was a there was on one at least one occasion, a leak of someone's personal information who prefers not to go by real name. And I think we should keep consistency between the names that are on our name tags and the names that are on internal documents that are shared with anyone other than just the few on the organizing committee trusted with private information. But overall, thank you everyone and looking forward to seeing many of you next year. Thank you. Um, hi, I had a really good time, I just wanted to say overall. Uh, this is my first time attending, um, and <laughs> uh, I was only able to attend because of the scholarship, so I wanted to thank uh, the Wiki Conference for having that. The only thing I wanted to recommend <laughs> as an accessibility thing is a uh, printed version of the schedule, or at least like a PDF file formatted for printing posted on the schedule website. 
I have dyslexia, and so certain layouts, especially on websites, are just a little difficult for me to read, but print is a little easier. Thank you. Hey, Rosie. Um, hey, Andrew. I, no, I jotted, jotted down the notes, so these are from multiple uh, people's comments. Some of them are actually directed towards me about scholarship, and some of them are more about programming. So uh, one, there was definitely some privacy concern. Uh, the volunteer shift uh, was reviewing people's first names, which some people do not like to, and so we should uh, use their usernames in, when assigning the volunteers uh, uh, shift duties, so that was a major thing. Uh, and volunteers should also yeah, have the opportunity to pick the shifts which align with the sessions they're interested in. Uh, travel agency seems to ignore the suggested flight routes as well as the dates for flying in and returning. Mm. Um, some also do not know their, uh, the names of the roommates until they arrive at the hotel for, for the scholarship recipients. Uh, on the programming side, uh, lots of overtime sessions and uh, room managers make sure to keep things on time. And there was not enough time to move from the keynote to the session, which seems to be starting quite promptly, leaving not much time to, to, to get up and down tra traversing the stairs that is not that wide. Thank you. Hello, um, I enjoyed the conference a lot. Uh, I just wanted a small note, which is that I was hopping between rooms a lot, and it was, um, well, I mean, there was some sort of amount of schedule slip, which uh, honestly I think is unavoidable, but I think it would have been really helpful if the schedule was like, for that room was posted outside the door, because I had to double check a number of times to make sure I was in the right room, because the, it was a completely different presentation from what I expected. So, yeah. Totally get it. Thank you. John. Hi. So, I'd just like to make a comment on the geography of uh, Wiki Conference North America, that we're at our uh, 11th conference and so far, with one exception, all of the conferences have been either in the U.S. Northeast or the uh, Canadian uh, St. Lawrence Corridor or in uh, kind of the, the inner Midwest, you know, as we are here. The exception was San Diego in 2016. And uh, I would, I'd like to see some focus on moving to other parts of the continent. It would be nice to have a conference in the U.S. South or the Southwest or Western Canada. Like, I know there have been talks about having it in Mexico, and I'm sure that, you know, that, that will happen uh, soon. But I think that you know, part of the issue is that in order to have the conference, we need to have the core of you know, enough dedicated Wikipedians on the ground, and that, that can be an issue for some cities or some reasons. But I think going forward, you know, we should think about what we can do to, to, to support having a little bit more of this uh, geographic diversity on uh, where we have the conference in the next couple of years. Thanks so much, John. I'm not trying to rush everyone, but I'm trying to rush everyone so we get everyone in before we get to the big reveal. Uh, I thought it was a really great conference. Um, one minor criticism, I think for some of the evening activities on like the one on the second day, like the room seemed too small for our group size mm -hmm. and were like quite noisy. I, I think it would have been better if it was a venue that could fit us slightly better, but it was a great conference. Thank you. Can I? Um, yeah, I, I also had a great time, but just to stay on time, um, I think one thing I want to highlight was that there was a great amount of like downtime spaces outside the room so you could have side conversations without like being too loud and, and interrupting, you know, presentations and stuff. Um, I'll echo what people said about having more gaps in the schedule to accommodate slip, but I also want to say that like um, most of the evening programs, there's like an hour for you to find food on your own, which was just not enough time to like walk 10 minutes somewhere, eat food, then walk to the next place. Like we, we needed more than, than an hour. Um, and then I also want to say that, um, and I mentioned something like this last year too, I think that, you know, the keynote really sets the agenda for the day and for the conference. And I think that, you know, someone like Hannah's keynote, I also like Jake found it very uh, inspirational. And I think that should have been like the day one opening keynote. And I would like to see more keynotes from Wikipedians talking about Wikipedia activities instead of the foundation saying, here's what we're working on because we get enough of that already. Okay, thank you. Uh, I felt the culture uh, crawl was just absolutely phenomenal. It made Indianapolis seem like a major world cultural capital. Uh, the I would much prefer to see the 
uh, the various sessions siloed by subject so that like glam would stay in one room with multiple sessions and tech in one room so that uh, you wouldn't be jumping back and forth all the time. Uh, if we could silo those, it would certainly be an improvement. My only disappointment was at the Indiana State Museum, they had a room on famous Hoosiers and I noticed that I was not included, but <laughs> say love you. Okay, uh, so for my second time around this, I'm, I'm actually speaking for myself this time. Um, I just want to echo what somebody else said about uh, data security. Um, I mean, on my own, I noticed that on the website, um, apparently on, on the application to give a, a talk, there was a question, um, if you did not get a scholarship, will you be able to attend the conference, yes or no? Um, which basically says, are you a rich person or a poor person? Um, and that data was exposed publicly on the website until I pointed it out to the uh, organizers and it's removed. And I also heard from somebody else the other day that there was um, paperwork floating around the volunteer crowd, um, including people's usernames and real names and apparently somebody's dead name. So, you know, you, you do have confidential information and you really do need to be more careful with how it's um, kept confidential. Thank you. Please I write. think the biggest problem with the culture crawl is it just set the bar too high for subsequent wiki conferences. I, uh, Thanks. And I never met in one of these things before, so I had fun. Indianapolis was pretty fun to walk around in. This is pretty fun to see. I, I got to meet everyone from online, which was fun. Uh, I, my only uh, concern is I hope I delivered my $632.18 in value back from my scholarship. Uh, but, you know, thanks for having me over. It was fun. Seven. Yeah, uh, really non-wiki conference specific, which is name badges with your names on both sides. It comes up in every conference every year. Okay. Rob. Um, yeah, not knowing who your roommate is in advance is a friendly space issue. I've been on Wikipedia for 20 years, and every time I come to one of these things, there's going to be at least three people who want to punch me in the face. Oh. And so, uh, so I, but in all seriousness, this is a real issue. I didn't know the guy's name until I showed up, and he never showed up anyway. So I'm fine now. Everything's fine. But this could be an issue for me and others. It's a real serious thing. Um, that said, I've been to a lot of these conferences, and this is an exceptionally well-run one. Um, the, especially the diversity and quantity of events in the culture crawl. You know, I do agree with some of the issues. Yes, there needs to be more time to shuttle between um, culture crawl and rooms, you know, culture crawl destinations and rooms in this building. Just a little more time, five minutes, you know. But overall, very well done. Thanks. James. Uh, this is and this is going to be the last one. This is particularly salient for me because I spent the weekend dealing with GDPR while attending this. But um, if anyone, if you, any of the attendees were a California resident and you did not handle their data in a compliant manner, then it could create exposure for the conference. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Okay, just uh, fantastic culture crawl. Amazing. One of the hardest decisions of my life. Um, just the, the one point, uh, echoing other people's comments on, on geographical and, and country diversity here. I'm glad that we're seeing more people here, of course, from Mexico, from, from Canada. Um, one note that we mentioned last year is that for us, it's, for Mexico, it's especially hard right now to come here to the United States because we need a visa. Those visas aren't cheap, aren't cheap, they aren't easy to get, they aren't uh, fast to get, even myself, I have a visa for 10 years. To renew it, I need, I'm need. i already in a wait list for eight months. New people coming in with a, for a new visa have a waiting list of over one year. So in some cases, up of two years. So I would be, I think it, it would be, a, the, the keynote here would be to, okay, let, let us speak with each other. Let's see who is available in Mexico, what are the situations in the ground, because I know of many people who would have liked to be here, but just for the issue of the visa, couldn't have come here even if they had gotten the, the scholarship. Other than that, it has been amazing. Thank you, everyone. Great program, great culture crawl.
Thank you so much. That was a great final comment um, because we do have a lot to talk about regarding future Wikiconference North America. Um, the notes have been taken for everything that's been said. They'll be shared maybe in an FAQ or some such in the future once they get some support with helping get them on our website. And so now the great reveal. Dominic, you want to? Oh, my gosh, I get to do this. Wikiconference North America 2025 will be woo, New York City. Come on up. Okay. Uh, Thank you, everyone. My name is Pasita. I'm the executive director of Wikimedia New York City. First off, can we give another round of applause to the Indiana team for this amazing conference? <laughs> we know that it's not easy to put together an event. And so we're really excited to do this and also taking in the feedback that you all mentioned today to into next year's conference. Um, if anybody has more feedback, feel free to come to any one of us to share your thoughts. Um, we'll also find an anonymous way for folks to share thoughts as well. But we really want it to be an experience that people enjoy in New York. And New York, there's a lot to enjoy, right? Like, there's a lot of culture, there's a lot of uh, things for you to experience there. So we're excited to welcome you there. Um, and I'll turn it over to Richard. Richard is the board president um, for final thoughts. Yeah. I just want to say thank you, Indianapolis. Thank you, organizers. Uh, you, Indianapolis is the is the uh, is the crossroads of all of our wiki hearts. And uh, I wanted to give you two hats. <laughs> The various uh, New York sports teams, the, the teal is the New York Liberty. Um, yeah, uh, looking forward to helping you next year, learning from uh, some, of, some of the feedback that you've given. Uh, hopefully we can have a great, I mean, we had a, such a incredible cultural experience. Hopefully we can do something like that in New York. We also want to in, 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 engage multilingually, hopefully reach out to some of the co different communities around New York, um, and, and maybe do some interesting things technologically, maybe have, have more of a hackathon. And I, 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 we would welcome you if anyone here wants to help with the New York uh, team for the conference next year. Where as New York City celebrates its 400th birthday, and as uh, people come uh, from across North America to visit our conference, we hope we can uh, become uh, help help support uh, free knowledge across the continent and globally. Thanks. And if any and if any New Yorkers want to come up, we're going to take a group photo. <laughs> okay, we're waiting for pretty much full semester here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to refresh and fix the 2024, so it says 2025. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is the fabulous Digi World Fair shirt. It's one of the ambitions for the conference on the last campus. I'm organizing. Yeah, I didn't realize that by hand. Here's New York's other slide. They never advanced it to. <laughs> uh, and that, that's all we had. Thank you so much for the conference. Um, bye. <laughs>